Hello, this is Perry McPherson, CEO of Dawson Tire and Wheel, and wanted to take a few minutes to talk a little bit about the difference between a bias irrigation tire and a radial irrigation tire. We're getting a lot of questions about that. I thought a little short video would help. There is a trend in the irrigation tire industry to go radial. We actually introduced a radial tire in 2013, and one of the initial challenges that we had was price. Everyone knows the advantage of a radial tire in, in agriculture, but this tire was three times the price of this tire, which wouldn't work for the pivot application. So we brought a radial tire. It's a little more, 15 to 20% more than a bias. Um, but I thought it would take a few minutes and explain why radial? Why would you think about radial? So this is a bias tire. It's an 11.2 by 38 Vortex brand. Happens to be a six ply. Has a two minute, five year warranty. A bias tire means that the belt package is put in, in a, across the tire from bead to bead. In the old days, they were called cross-ply tires for that reason. So the, the belt package is laid in there this way. It gives a very rounded profile. If you look at the profile of the tire, you can definitely see how rounded it is. Also, as this tire is going through the field or dirt, in the application, an agriculture application, it's flexing because it has weight on it. One of the advantages of pneumatic tires is they flex. But the trend of the flex is in line with the belt package. So this tire is going to flex this way as it's going through the field with weight on it. This tire, again, is a radial tire. It's a 320-85R38. Happens to be a Trellebork brand with an eight-year warranty. As you look at this tire, a very flat profile across the tire. The belt package in this tire is radial. They put the belts on radially around the tire where the tread face is, and that's why they call them radials. So. Is, is what gives it its very flat profile. And also, as this tire flexes, it, it's flexing this way. So there's less of a trend to push dirt and mud out in wet applications this way. So um, the other thing this does, again, because of its construction and how it's built, you can run a lot lower air pressures and carry the same weight. So what you get is a much larger footprint. Footprint is one of the ways that we measure the characteristics of a tire. And, and this tire, in the same size as a bias tire, is going to have 30 to 50% more square inches of footprint on the ground. So as we know, pivot tires go flat. These do have air in them. They still could go flat they get stuck and they leave ruts. And if you're having a challenge with a pivot tower getting stuck or leaving ruts, definitely would recommend considering radial option. We've got a couple different brands of, available. And we just thought that a little short video would help explain it. Again, if in, in the getting stuck, you have much more footprint on the ground and, and a lot less chance in sticky soils of of these tires getting stuck. The, there's different mud clean out characteristics. So as they flex, they're breaking the mud out better. Whereas these tires with their rounded profile, the mud's going to not come off of as much and so much less chance of getting stuck. And again, in the, if, if ruts are an issue to you, and, and ruts seem to be getting more of an issue as machines get bigger and go faster. The, the ruts that we used to just kind of creep through now we're bouncing over and sometimes creating machine damage. So the radial option is definitely over the last four or five years much less 
ruts and tracks in many different soil applications. So if you're looking for the economy model and you don't have those other things I mentioned, the getting stuck or the deep ruts is an issue to you, bias is definitely the way to go to stay with. If you, if you have an application where you're getting stuck and leaving ruts, radial is something to consider. Hope this little short explanation helps you understand why a radial tire could make sense and what applications it could make sense in and where a bias tire is perfectly fine. I'm sure there's other things to think about. Thank you very much. Again, this is Eric McPherson, CEO of Dawson Tire and Wheel. Got any further questions, don't hesitate to jump on our website, www.dawsontire.com or give us a call. Thank you.